Welcome to the InnerSelf.com audio version of Cultivating Neutrality and Creating Your Reality, written by Eileen De McCusick, author of the book Tuning the Human Biofield. The article is narrated by Mariti Russell, publisher of InnerSelf.com. I think the edict that Americans are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness creates a problem that goes largely unexamined in our culture. There is a significant difference between pursuing happiness and simply being happy. And many people get caught up in the pursuit without ever really catching happiness. The staggering number of people who are on antidepressants is evidence alone that something is not working. Often, if people suffer from depression, they feel a lot of pressure to be happy, but the distance between the low of depression and the high of happiness can seem like such a long way to go. Unable to get to happiness or to hold it once they may fleetingly experience it, they slip back down into depression. People try to think positively only to find themselves completely overrun with negative feelings and self-reproach. They are gripped by the fear that something is going to come along to take away their happiness, and so they have a hard time even letting themselves feel it for fear of losing it. Cultivating Neutrality Cultivating neutrality is how I describe the process of acquiring equanimity. What I mean by this is a state where you're neither happy nor sad, neither elevated nor depressed, but simply neutral. When we cultivate neutrality, we don't have to worry about any of this. We understand that life is full of ups and downs, good things happen and bad things happen, and that's the nature of life. We allow ourselves to feel all of our emotions as they arise, labeling none of these as good or bad, but simply seeing that they are part of the human experience. We allow them to play out as they need to with a good laugh or a good cry or maybe a brisk walk or some deep house cleaning if we're angry. When we allow our emotions to run their course without judging them or repressing them or thinking we shouldn't be feeling them, they move on. It's only when we resist them, repress them, or judge them that they tend to stick around and create problems. Neutrality is the place that we return to once the highs or lows have passed. And in neutrality, there is a certain peace. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, nothing to fix, no agenda to push, no axe to grind, nothing to be except simply being present. This is a lovely space, a state of mind where you can enjoy true rest, where there is no charge of happiness to maintain, no charge of sadness to wallow in or seek to escape from, and the place from where we can create our reality. Creating Your Reality, or The Law of Attraction. Quote from a book entitled The Tongue, A Creative Force, by Charles Cap. My people can have what they say, but my people keep saying what they have. End of quote. This quote from the book The Tongue, A Creative Force, by Charles Capps, a retired farmer, land developer, and ordained minister, sums up the essence of reality creation, or the power of the word to create one's reality. What it is saying is that the word is creative, and when we repeatedly say things like, I am broke, or I am stuck, or I am sick and tired, that is what we are creating. It's not just in what we say, but also in what we feel. Most people have reality creation backward. They are waiting for outside circumstances to change before they will say, I am rich, my life is moving along nicely, or I feel great, and then experience all the associated feelings that go along with that. 
Our life situation is an exploded view of our bodies and our fields. The body and its field is primary, is creative, and the life situation reflects that, not the other way around. When we keep saying what we have, we are creating more of that. What you resist persists. Anything we resist tends to stick around because we're giving it energy. It's only by being willing to cultivate different words and feelings first and then not giving any attention or resistance to what shows up in opposition of that because those things will continue to show up for a little while until the new pattern kicks in that the new pattern begins to show up in the life situation. Imagine what it feels like to be rich, to be successful, to own your own home, to have a new car. Now, allow yourself to feel those feelings. I recently heard a story about someone who decided to start treating his old car the way he would treat a new car, keeping it clean and clutter-free, inside and out, feeling the feelings he imagined he would feel in a better car. And in a very short time, a nicer, newer car appeared suddenly in this person's life. Your feelings will truly magnetize to you the outer circumstances that reflect those feelings. But there's a time gap in which faith is necessary, and this is where many people give up. Here is a very simple example you can do anytime. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? How do I want to feel? What needs to happen in order for me to feel that way that I can control or affect right now? We can't simply flush or eliminate feelings from our bodies without first listening to what they're trying to tell us. They are there as guideposts to keep you on keel. So if you're feeling a strong emotion, there's a message there for you, an indication that you must change course in some way, take some sort of action, communicate something to someone. Not heeding your emotions can lead you into the rough and not learning to cultivate emotional discipline can keep you in the rough. This article was written by Eileen Day McCusick, author of Tuning the Human Biofield, Healing with Vibrational Sound Therapy. The article was narrated by Marie T. Russell, publisher of InnerSelf.com. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.